Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm explaining how to draw paws that is used in another tutorial called Futurism Metal Suzy. And first we will take a look at the body in static position. And if, if you are not familiar with what I'm doing right now, check please lesson number uh, 2.1 where I explain with more details. Here why I want to show it, because I'm using a bit different numbers than in basic lesson. My head is a bit different, like I'm drawing it with size 1.5 to 2.5 centimeters. The distance between shoulders to hips is 8 centimeters. And in a lesson that lesson 2.1 I was telling you that we divide the upper part of body by three, three equal parts. Here we will do it a bit differently. We will give more space for upper part. So I'm, I'm not dividing, you see, I'm, I will not divide it by three equal parts. Because I want to make the neck a bit longer and I want to reduce distance between chest and waist. So as you'll see, I will leave uh, just a bit for central part. I'm drawing central line. It's very important a line because when we change the position of body, we this line is leading us. Okay, so now I'm drawing the body according, like you see, the lines are a bit different. So chest, waistline and hips line, hip, hip line. And uh, no, not less than 1.1. 1.1 is uh, head and face, but like check lesson 2.1. So now I'm just drawing, following the same rules um, as I described in that lesson with new lines for chest and waist. Okay, so now I'm drawing the arms and here you should remember that elbow is at the same line as waist. So like half of the arm is at the waistline. The other half finishes like wrist line and is at the same line as hips. So and then you add hands. And uh, to draw basic hands, follow Fsketcher on Instagram, there I will post like form of hands uh, like right after like uploading the tutorial so because there are so many different positions of hands it's better to you know to make it following the lesson Okay, so now we are drawing our new position, so I start with head and let's take a look before drawing the central line, let's take a look at the actual sketch. This sketch is the same, I just colored it, started coloring it differently, but still. So we see that she is leaning to the side and, and she's not standing like a soldier. And when 
person is not standing like a soldier, his central line is a bit curved. So it's like, like you know, like spine. So in this case, it's not curved very much, but still it is. So we need to concede it to make our sketch. Okay, after analyzing our sketch, I'm making curved central line. Now let's take a look at our principal body. So we see that the angle between central line and waist, um, chest and hip line is 90 degrees. So it means that there is some relationship and that it, it is a hint that will help you to make any position. So look, if I will make straight line like on the uh, previous sketch, it will not be 90 degrees. So I need to turn it like this. And now I get the same angle like a corner in your room probably. So if it's standard one. So next, uh, this is the shoulder line. Next is... Uh, if I draw the just you know the standard straight line, it again will be too wide angle. So I need to turn the light so it's 90 degrees. So I, I hope you're following. I'm trying like to be clear, but I know it's a bit a bit difficult than static position. So here I got 90 degrees too. Okay, so now we have all uh, necessary lines for the upper part and I again recommend you to check both lessons 2.2 and 2.1 to see closer how to draw like chest, arms and uh, all the body. And uh, so now I'm just drawing, you see there is certain distance like a waistline, I count it from this new central line. And I draw this triangle, like uh, that has its like top at her bottom, uh, because it helps me to you know to draw correctly the pelvic, all her like uh, this part. Okay, on the website at poses section, you can take closer look at the sketch and uh, we can uh, see that your right leg at the same level as your like right foot at the same level as your left shoulder and your left foot is a bit to the side from your right shoulder yeah and as we know the knee line is just in the middle of uh, leg section so, as I said, the leg section is 12 centimeters, but I mean each leg like from hips till, till ankles. And uh, 6 centimeters till knees, 6 till ankles, altogether 12. So, and uh, we will draw, the, your right leg will look a bit longer just because it's in the front and her left leg is a bit at the back so on a flat image it looks like one is longer one is shorter but it's just you know she's she's not flat she's like in a in a space as we are well if it's i think i just made things more complicated by saying that Okay, so we are finishing with your legs and uh, let's start drawing your arms. So we know that the length of arm 
is the same as the distance between shoulders and waistline. And I need, uh, and uh, there is also must be some space for other part of your head. So, and I need 90 degrees. So, this is what I'm getting. And if you say like how how you got it, how you know where the elbow should be. Well, this I counted the length, and then I check at which distance the elbow should be, so I get the same um, length like normal length of uh, arm. At the same time, there is enough length for the second part of your arm, and enough. Uh, lens for your hand. So the second hand is just regular, regularly positioned. This is the end to complimentary tutorial to Futurism Metal Suzy tutorial. So it's like if you think that it's boring then check the main tutorial and actually you maybe like this one because it helps a bit. So if you like F-Sketcher, like it on Facebook and subscribe to this channel.